Uh, as parents, our ultimate goal is to keep our kids safe and healthy as they grow up. And social media is one of those areas that scares a lot of parents. Social media expert Dr. Brian Foreman says we can't keep our heads in the sand, and he joins us now to help. So you say social media leads a lot of parents to these fear-based reactions that can ultimately be unhealthy. What do you mean by that? Absolutely. So if we if we react out of fear, we tend to build walls. And, and so if you see something that scares you on the news, you run and you put filters on for your kids and you say, don't go here, don't do this. Well, what's a kid going to do? Go to there. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the first thing they're going to do. So what if instead of putting restrictions on kids, we start actually talking about and figuring out how they're using social media and how we can interact with them there. So giving them some parameters in which to live and play in that area. But those parameters are the things that we feel comfortable with as parents that, that are going to keep them safe and healthy. There's no Twitter for just four-year-olds. Is there just eight-year-olds? No, but what a great idea. I know. Maybe let's invent that. Funding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our, our kids nowadays, are they just completely overexposed and advancing through this digital age too quickly than what they're able to handle? I think that's a part of it. A part of it is that as parents, we never experienced it. It's something brand new for us, so we're learning as well as they are. We don't have a baseline of what to teach. We don't have a baseline of how to react. And then more and more parents are unaware that their kids are even on social media. So when you get children who are on some of the different sites, when those sites even have age restrictions, the parents are allowing their kids to be there. So should we try to keep up? Because the kids are so far ahead of us, aren't they? You can try and you'll go crazy. Mm -hmm. you, you won't look like the young 50-year-old if you try to keep up right. with social media. There are over 400 platforms right now identified. So where are our kids? Who knows? Um, so that doesn't mean it's an excuse or, or something not to worry about, but there's some things we can do to find out where they are, and that begins with talking to them, mm -hmm. asking them. And it's easier for some parents. It's easier based on the different ages, but I don't think we can keep up. Uh, what are the effects on the relationship between a parent and child when you're constantly checking their social media stuff, Let's like see. every account and scrutinizing it? And see, that's a great question. It depends on each kid. Uh, I think if a child doesn't feel like you trust them, then they're going to begin to live into that. A lot of it is just common sense parenting. The things that we do in real life are things that we need to do to, in, in, in the digital world as well. And so if there, are, if there are children who are scared that their parents are always checking on them and they have something to hide, that's a bigger problem than something that's happening online. That's a problem that's happening in real life. Oh. Yeah, you promote a contract between parent and child. What should that include? Well, what I do is I promote a contract that's based on questions because each family is in a different situation. If you have a 10-year-old who's starting to think about social media, that's different than you have a 16-year-old who's already out there. So my contract is basically to basically get parents and children talking to one another to say, what are we comfortable with from a safety perspective? What are we comfortable with from a privacy perspective? What are the things that we're not going to share about what's going on in our family? Because the last thing you want is, is your family dirty Airbnb. Mm -hmm. or laundry being aired out on the on Facebook. Yeah. Um, and to explain to them the permanence of the things that they put out Absolutely. There. Mm, thank Absolutely. you so much for talking to us. Quite welcome. We appreciate it.